Okay, so we're hunting more Elder Dragons. Yep. So now we're going after Teostra. Let's see. I can find a quest. Yeah. Okay, there's an investigation. That's good. Oh, neat. Uh, this is slight. Good. I uh, I really hate the investigations that are uh, that are capture because you're kind of at the at the mercy of your of your shithole teammates. <laughs> Well, I mean, they all know they're supposed to capture it, right? You'd be surprised, <laughs> like, because like I like I was trying to get basil juice, basil juice stuff, and uh, the only quest I had with him in it was a capture investigation, and like people kept trying to kill the fucker, and I had to like race them and like trank him before they could kill him, because <laughs> fuck those guys, like nobody reads. But I'm glad we got an investigation quest because those uh, those give you more rewards than regular quests. Okay. The uh, the downside is that investigations uh, investigations like spawn. I I think you just have to get enough research points on the monsters, and you can only do the investigation quest a limited number of times mm. before they go away again. And you just have to hope you get another one. You just have to wait. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, you have, you have to like research the monster enough to make another one appear. Which was, which is, it's a problem when you're trying to fight a monster that you haven't gotten the rank to just have a normal quest to fight them. Yeah, that's that was the that was the case with uh, with uh, with Beetlejuice. All right. So, uh, I'm surprised we're fighting him. And I've never fought him here. That's weird. Uh, good for us though, because that means he doesn't have a lair to retreat to. Oh neat. Have we not found him? I guess we haven't found him. Okay. Huh. Okay. And I should be maxed out. Yeah, I've got maxed out that. Oh, let me... No, I didn't get the first aids. Yeah, Those long. are some really big ants. Yes. Like... And uncles. Ha. Huh. I don't really understand why they leave the... Um, why they don't tra have like an auto-translate thing on the... Uh, on the on the on the like little emotes or whatever. What do you mean? Well, like when like when your character is programmed to automatically say things uh, in certain conditions, like when you fire a when you fire a dung pod, yeah. you, your character automatically says like I'm firing a dung pod. Oh, okay. Like for, for convenience, but it doesn't it doesn't auto translate to like whatever your your source like language is. So when a Japanese person does it, I just say oh, it's Japanese. <laughs> so it's like ah oh, damn it, I forgot to grab honey. Oh well, whatever. I'm a man, I don't need honey. <laughs> I keep relying on my on um, the auto restock feature, but I keep forgetting to actually restock on honey, so it won't, it won't uh yeah. it won't put in, you know, anything if I don't already have it in there. And somebody's getting hurt. Why are they getting hurt? Looks like you're walking into Jew territory. <laughs> what, just because there's a deli down the street? <laughs> what the hell, Evan? <laughs> yeah. Why you gotta be like that? There was some, uh, some anime director was ousted recently, uh, because he ended up, people found out that he would like anti-Semitic posts on Twitter. I mean, you're allowed to like whatever you want, but people are allowed to be upset with the things yeah. you like. <laughs> so, yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I'm 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 hoping it wasn't like a good anime. No, no, no. It was some anime that we haven't heard of. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. Well, good. Fuck that guy. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I see everybody. Yeah, I think they found him. Well, if they found him, the if they found him, the the flies would have told, would have said, you know, so and so discovered. Well, what are they doing? Did I, they I find know, like, some other monster? It it might be like Diablo. Yeah, something. they must just have found something else. Oh, are they on the bottom level? Oh yeah, they they've got to be. You can't open up that sinkhole yourself. No. Okay. You gotta like, uh, I mean, there there's a hole here in the back that I can jump down, but yeah, I think uh, Diablo's has to open the sinkhole. There's the hole. Okay. This, ah. this takes you down to the second camp, uh, and you can uh, you get a little quest 
to set up camp here, so you can you can teleport here, or you can just start your your mission here. They're following Everyone's, whatever that is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where where are you guys going? We found the secondary target. <laughs> I mean, I hope we're not going after pointless shit because this is a thirty-minute mission. Yeah, they're so, they're they're cool. They're they're skilled hunters. They got plenty of time. I think a lot of running. I better drink energy drink. Ah, Red Bull gives you wings. <laughs> uh, red, red, uh, pink rat. I really want to see what they found. Oh, oh, they found the B fifty-two. <laughs> nice. Oh no, that is Taylor's turn. Why, why the hell wasn't showing up on my uh, on my thing? That's weird. Huh. Oh god, no, no, no! Wow. I didn't I didn't turn around in time to put my shield between us. I like that guy. Oh no, I thought he. Oh, he did drop the heel thing. Yeah, nice guy. That's. Oh, uh, get that mount. Oh, never mind. He got it. Well, I wanted to try too. So the other dragons just like fly away when uh, you mount. <laughs> when you mount. <laughs> 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 so like that guy's going for a ride. <laughs> well, like I said, like in the maps you're supposed to fight them in, there isn't like a whole lot of place for them to fly around to. <laughs> it's just really fucking goofy because we're net we're in an open area. I like how this guy's just going for a ride and everyone yeah. else is playing catch up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. tail! Do it. Stand next to a dual blader, so yeah, no, he'll add really he, quickly. He's gonna do it. Don't worry about it. Ah, right when I got the charge. So Teostra is another one that I see people uh, people card on a lot because he's he catches on fire constantly. Okay. And he's he's also pretty aggressive. And like, he's, he's leaving. Yeah. He's another one where like if he's moving, he's probably attacking you. Right. So that's what this is. See the blue. Th oh, good. Somebody flashed it. Oh, cool. I mean, it's not as important in this map because he doesn't have his lair retreat. Nice smell amount. Damn. Is he blowing up? No, he's just like he's like igniting himself. Okay. He's doing the flame on. But those explode. Oh, neat. Yeah. He is, wow, he is so much easier when he's not in his actual map. Because now we have, like, room to, like, see this stuff and react to it. It's crazy. Oh, is he normally in close quarters? Yeah, normally he's got, like, a little, like, volcanic layer. And there's, like, it's really hard. It's, uh, there's, there isn't a whole lot of, wait, there's, there's not a whole lot of places to run to. And also there's, like, fucking, like, lava and shit. Okay. Wow, I'm getting teammates who are on the ball with their flash, with their flash bots. Yeah, this is great. This is how the game is supposed to. I, I don't, I don't know why. It, it seems fine to me. I don't know what's, with, <laughs> I don't know what's with you when like nobody brings flash bots. Nobody brings flash bots. <laughs> Alright, don't stand next to that man. Damn it! That was gonna do the discharge. All right, well, at least that was that was a good fight. Yeah. So yeah, that was Teostra. I uh, didn't really get to see him in his full glory because yeah. we, we cheated and fought him in an <laughs> entirely unsuitable environment. <laughs> but whatever, free mats for me. Yay! By the way, is uh, Giganox in this game? Uh, no. Giganox okay. is... Or at least, I mean, like, I don't know. I, I'm assuming that... I'm assuming at this point that I've seen everything that I'm going to see, and everything else will just be like a reskin or a sub right, okay, subspecies. Yeah. So, is yeah, there. Actually, that's kind of interesting to talk about. Uh, there is no ice map at this point. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Like I went through like the whole game being like, when am I going to have to craft a hot drink? And it just never happened. Huh. You have to craft hot drinks, uh, cold drinks, at the end of the game, because in the final map that you get for hunting on. Uh, there's like an underground like magma area and you need cold drinks to survive there. Okay. But yeah, at the moment we do not have uh, hot drinks. But I mean, do the items exist to make hot drinks? I'm not sure. I mean, um, the mushrooms and the, 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 the fire herbs or whatever you use to craft them are there. Uh, but you use them to make ammo and bombs and stuff. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, so this is, the this is the advantage of doing investigations. Uh, you get these extra three little rewards. Oh, neat. And depending on the investigation, you might get better. Like, the, the gold ones are better rewards, so... Right. Uh, sometimes you'll get... Ooh, I got a gem. What I get? What I get? What I get? Uh... Oh, boy, aquatic expert. Meyer walker? <laughs> I thought... Oh, is it like the waist-deep water? 
Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's just like you uh, you don't you're not impeded by water. Period. Okay. But this is this is one of the good games without underwater fighting. <laughs> so it's pretty much just waist deep, like exists. Yeah, I mean, and you, it didn't even seem to slow you down when you were in it. Yeah, you you put that on if you're fighting Jews and you're really bad at it. Juratoris. <laughs> uh. <Jura> not. <laughs> I was gonna say not, like, not the kind that count your money. I was desperately. T- <laughs> I was trying to think of a racist joke, but you just made one. <laughs> it's my talent. <laughs> I was my- desperately trying to think of a Hitler joke, and you're just like, yeah, it's those Jews. What with the money? <laughs> like, oh. <"Aw." laughs> I can, I can. It, it, it's my curse that I'm, I'm talented enough to make racial jokes without even thinking. Yeah, and that's why I have to, I have to like. I have to put the seal on my powers. Right. So, like, I won't use them for evil. And because I like Jewish people. They make good sandwiches. They do. All right. So <laughs> that was also quite racist. <laughs> uh, Roger uh, Kushula Dora now. Da- da- Daora. So, uh, Kushal- Kushala, Kushala Daora. Daora. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's that's a thing. It might be Taora? Because, like, in... In, like, China, when you say... Dao, it's actually Dao. It's pronounced or Tao. Wait, it's no, no, no. is is Tao pronounced Dao or is it the other way around? No, no, it's Dao. It's written Dao, but it's pronounced Tao. No, I thought it was I, I thought it was reverse. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. We're, 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 we're not Chinese. Yeah, I don't know. It's fine. I I, I don't get A's in math. <laughs> uh, God, the racism. Yeah, we're uh, we're not doing so hot this <laughs> this session. I feel bad. <laughs> Uh, All right, I'm now st- I have honey. I'm st- I look down and see this, you know, Harry Potter box set, and now I want to make some joke about limey Brits or something. They don't taste like lime. Yeah, I've checked. Those uh, those are signed, incidentally. Oh yeah. Yeah, those books. Oh nice. Yeah, I uh, I, I skipped church uh, one day <laughs> uh, with my with with my mom's permission. Actually, she came with me. And we stood in line for like a million hours, and we got to see J.K. Rowling, and she signed the books. Oh, nice. Yeah. This was back when there was only the three, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, this was a long-ass time ago. And then I took it into class to show off uh, to my friends, and my, my biology teacher was like, Alex, I will give you an A if you give me one of those books right now. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I was like, eh, I like books. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now I would take an A. I got a B. Alright. It was, it was fine. It was, it was middle school. It was middle school biology. Yeah. Like, my friend got through the class because he had played Parasite Eve earlier that year. <laughs> <laughs> Not even kidding. And it, it, like, taught him enough about, like, cells and stuff that he was able to just breeze through nice. the exams. Yeah, fuck that guy. I could have gotten Parasite Eve and passed too, but no. <laughs> I had to be playing... What was, it, what was I playing? Um, was I playing Star Ocean 2? Yeah, I think I was playing Star Ocean 2. Star Ocean 2 or Suikoden. One of the two. Man, I don't remember anything about Parasite Eve now. It's actually It actually holds up. I played it, I played it again semi-recently. I just remember Mutants and... Some... Nope. Because, like, everyone's mitochondria rebels. Yeah, that was it. Oh, yeah. no, it sounds dumb now. <laughs> like, it, it only sounds dumb. It's, it's actually quite cool. And, like, Aya Brea is, like, one of the coolest, like, female protags ever. What caused... And just like Samus, uh, she also got, like, f- for, like, fucking destroyed, like, character-wise. Oh, okay. Uh, when, when Square Enix went back to making games for her. What? And somebody already carded. Awesome. We're down to one to continue. What caused... What mm-hmm. caused everyone's mitochondria to rebel? Uh... And what is that even... So, there's, like... There was like this this girl who was like genetically engineered, and her name was Eve. Yeah. To become like the ultimate life form, and then like she died, and then like her body parts, her like organs were implant were transplanted into Aya's body, but then also like somebody else I think got a transplant, and those organs like caused the two hosts to like manifest like mitochondria powers, something like that. Parasite Eve is very complicated and dumb. Yeah, I mean... 
All right, so so this is the guy that you need flash bombs for, but you have to be careful because that wind he makes uh, will like push you away, okay. and so you don't want to hit him too. Wow, early. did you just bounce yeah, off the wing? His, his his wing is very. Yeah, he seems really metallic. Yeah. Okay, so this is like uh, this is like a I love to be in the air a lot guy. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Okay. Because, yeah, anytime, anytime you see guys doing a lot of breath attacks and the wings are the hard part of their body, they love to be one of those airborne motherfuckers that annoy the piss out of you. Yeah, he loves to be in the air. Oh, God, okay. Let's see. Oh, he's not returning. He's just running over there. And I'd like him to stop moving. Wow. The, all Seriously, all the ones I don't think you're going to get. Yeah, mounting is kind of a crapshoot unless you have unless you're an insect wave. Uh, yeah. Either. At least he's not just flying away like the other guy. <laughs> oh wait, never mind. Oh nope. Jesus, he's not letting me hit him. He just keeps he keeps trying to throw me off before I can get good hits him. Did I tell you I uh, I actually killed a monster just by climbing on top of it? Really? I didn't even get to attack. So I'm guessing, like, the mounting animation actually does, like, some damage or something. Yeah, it must just deal, like, one damage yeah. or whatever. It was funny, but it also made me feel bad. Like, oh, <laughs> I never killed someone by sitting there. That I know of. This guy would be a great sword user. He's gonna be throwing me all over the place. <laughs> Freaking, uh... I, I like how... I like how... Freaking how I discriminate against people based on their weapon? No, I was gonna say how every other weapon, <laughs> regardless of what it is, is oh yeah, it's one of those. It's one of insert weapon here. Using <laughs> no, it's <laughs> it's just great sword, katana, and uh, dual blades because those are the ones that throw me all over all around. <laughs> I said I like hammer users. Yeah, but everyone likes hammer bros. And I actually I don't think I've ever I don't think I've ever teamed up with a sword and shield. Huh. Huh. I mean, Sword and Shield has been around since the beginning, so yeah. everyone's... It's not cool anymore. They're, uh... The, the Veggie Elder will tell you... Why like, does he just have a tornado now? Because this guy was dumb and did exactly what I said you shouldn't do. Okay. Because uh, when this... When this guy flies up in the air, he he launches his tornado. He launches a tornado at his feet. Like how are you supposed to approach him when he's surrounded? Well, by that's that? the thing. You don't flash him until the tornado goes goes oh, away see, from I him. Okay. Then you flash him. If you flash him while he's standing inside the tornado, you can't hit him. I got you. So yeah, that guy did the very thing. I, I didn't write. Okay. Get down here. Oh, oh, nice. Got him. Um, what's your call? Charge. Don't hit me while I'm discharging. Ah! <laughs> so, Alex, have you have you heard of the term uh, Paisura? Uh, no. Well, is it like Paisano? I hadn't either. Is it like Pisces? Is it is it fish related? No. It, I'll give you a hint. It's a particular fetish. Now I don't want to know what it is. <laughs> I'm scared. It, it is Paisura is the name for. Someone, it's a fetish for a woman who has a strap, like the strap of a bag or a camera or a duffel bag or something. The fe a fetish for a woman who has a strap running along the front of their body in between their two breasts. Okay, I mean, yeah, I guess I guess it emphasizes the boobies. So yes. Maybe that's why. Like, that's a thing. And on March 25th, uh, a certain... Ah, he's got the mystery. In a certain place in Japan, uh, there will be a Paisura Cafe opening. So, like, a, a cafe where the waitresses just have, like, the strappy shit? Yeah. Presumably a cafe where all the waitresses are carrying some sort of little purse and the strap runs across the front of their body. Okay. Yeah. Um, good on those people, I guess. Yeah. I mean, there are, like, way worse things you could be into, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, it's not that bad, considering that a, uh, 
a Pantsu Cafe exists. Which does not actually have waitresses just in panties. But the walls are plastered with... Oh. The walls are plastered <laughs> with artwork of anime girls showing, like, lifting their skirts while giving the viewer a disgusted look. I assume... <sighs> Is the disgusted look important? Yeah, that's part of it. That's yeah. part of the. That's, that's part, part of the. the that's part of the appeal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like, like, like. Have you ever seen the Jika Tactics? No. Uh. Like it's a shitty anime, but it's one. It's like it's a. Sh it's an anime for. I, I. I think it's supposed to be for like pants any enthusiasts. Okay. Because like, the camera angle is like stupidly low, so you're just like looking up someone's skirt like at all times. All the time. Okay. Yeah. And like all the girls wear like. The ridiculously like short skirt that could have no practical purpose whatsoever. Right. Like not even like Sailor Moon like like tier. Like wow. shorter than that. Okay. Like it does not cover anything. So hentai high school girl. Yeah, yeah, level. exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So like, ah oh, man, I fucked up. So like that's what I was thinking of when you said there was like like I assumed it was, it was all just people wearing that shit. Right. Sorry well, guys. Nobody can get it. Yeah, no one. <laughs> no one get it. I ruined the party. But yeah, no, this, uh... Is someone gonna hit him? It's like, you need flash pods in this game. Yeah, it seems, it seems fairly tame. But it's a thing, I hadn't heard of that. And now I have. I wish I had. I'm gonna try and forget it. <laughs> Back in the vault. Yeah, there you go! <laughs> Pods again. Now it's moved. Bam. Huh. I'm not inclined to disagree right now. What? And that's the end of that tale. For the stupidity is not something to tolerate. Why are those people? Well, we cut the very. Because that's because in the story missions you have like people yammering. Oh, okay. I don't know how they're talking to you. It's actually very annoying in the Teo in the I think it's the Teostra fight because like the super badass like hunter dudes like he has like a personal vendetta against him. He's like, which of us will capture the monster first? And like you never see him at all. Okay. <laughs> like he did. I thought he was actually gonna show up in the mission. It'd be cool, but no. He just at the end he's just like, well, you got him. Look. Like, the fuck were you? <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> like, I at least wanted him to, like, show up, like, in cutscene and, like, get knocked out or something. Like, he was just, like, off, like, sitting on his hands or something. Fuck that guy. Also, he's a katana user, so you know he's an asshole. Well, there you go. And, the, you know, hence the angst. <laughs> <laughs> his mom is probably Genova or something. This time I crafted more flash pods, so now I'm ready for when he does his flying bullshittery. Well, Ch China made the internet mad again. <laughs> China's always making the internet mad. Uh, no, no, it's fire. And oh my god, I'm I'm not going to link a picture of this into the description because it's the saddest thing I've ever seen. But a certain zoo in uh, the Henan province of China. Something, something, Harambe? I don't know if I've, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. H-E-N-A-N. Sounds about right. Yeah. A certain zoo in this province in China. Damn it. Uh, There's totally a mouse. Has been photographed by feeding their python, uh, has been photographed feeding their pythons live puppies. Oh my god. Why? Why puppies? Why not cats? <laughs> I mean, cats are dicks. Like, they deserve to be eaten. <laughs> puppies are innocent. Yeah, but puppies are easier to capture. Are they? Yeah, cats, man. It's China. Like, you got, they're like cats all over the place. <laughs> but, uh, Usually in people's lunch boxes. Yeah, animal protection groups found this out and started posting pictures. China has animal protection groups? Yeah, on the internet to, you know, stir up the outrage. Genuinely did not know that. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, so... A zoo employee confirmed that the photos are correct. And they do, you know, just feed them puppies. <laughs> That's so sad. Like, puppies are the most innocent thing ever. Except when they're Sophie. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, I mean, as far as food goes, you know, they are about the size, and snakes do eat mammals, you know, of appropriate sizes, but... They're not supposed to eat cute things. And especially not while they're alive, for freaking Yeah, food. holy crap. Like, it's just, it's just so sad, like... Oh my god. Like, one of the local Chinese food restaurants has to have some dead puppies, like, in the gar in the dumpster. Like, just, just, just feed them those. Yeah. When this monster flies away, I'm gonna show you the picture and you're gonna no, cry. No, I don't want to see the picture. <laughs> like, yeah. I love puppies. <laughs> it's like, jeez. I I was. I, at least find some dead puppies or something. I was so sad the other day because, like, I saw, uh... Damn it! Oh, actually, okay, actually, that's, that's fine. Alright, he's not in it. Yeah, no, I was just uh, I saw this, uh, this lost, this lost, uh, puppy, uh, poster, uh, by work uh, the other day. I got so sad because it's a cute little Yorkie. Aww. And he's, like, missing his, like, front teeth or something. <laughs> so, it says, like, his bark is, like, his bark is, like, fucked up or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I want to help the puppy. I mean, if I found that dog, I'd probably keep him. Like, these assholes, like, lost him and also fucked up his teeth somehow. Yeah. <laughs> they don't deserve a cute Yorkie. What the hell? What did that guy... What are people throwing at it? Uh, I don't... I can't... I don't see anyone. These little purple pods... That. Oh, they're shooting him and stuff. Oh, okay. I don't know what all the pods do, because there's too many of them. I mean, purple must be poison, right? Mm, not necessarily. Look at this. It's tear time. Oh god, why? <laughs> it's an adorable puppy, too. It's so cute. Yeah, well. Not well. <laughs> China. Wah, 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 wah. Man, fucking. China is the reason I'm not getting my, my Sentinels of the Multiverse stuff until, like, May. <laughs> really? Well, because they take, like, all February off for a Chinese New Year. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the factory shut down. But, like, every. Every board game thing I backed, like they they do their manufacturing in China, and they are just completely blindsided that you know Chinese New Year is gonna is gonna fuck up their their schedule. It's like, how do all of these places not know about the biggest like you know manufacturing hurdle yeah. in China? <laughs> like everybody knows about that shit. Pretty much. Like Jeff told me that it's common that he he's heard from his family members that it's commonplace. For you to like leave your factory job and just not come back, and then like nobody cares. Like that's <laughs> that's how yeah. that's how they should that's how much they shut down. I was just willing to hire new people. Oh, I thought you were gonna get that mount. Yeah, but he like but buffed, he he, he did buffeted the me at the last second. Oh, like, again. Yeah, yeah, he keeps Jimmy he keeps Jimmy buffeting me. <laughs> I can't even see him there. Is he is he gone? I think he's gone. Is he in there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's that's the problem when he gets enraged towards the end of the fight. Like he, this is the whole battlefield. Like it, yeah. <laughs> it just becomes <laughs> tornadoes everywhere. <laughs> that's what happened when I was fighting him uh, for my story quest, and I was like out of flash pods, and it was just a huge pain in the ass. Oh, I think he went back to his lair. Okay. So what is he? What power up does he get? He just gets. I don't think he actually gets an explicit one. Like. Oh, okay. I think he just has the home the home turf advantage because like, it's a small fight. It's a small combat arena, and there's not a whole lot of places to get away from the tornadoes. Oh, all right. But he doesn't at least he doesn't have any like overt power up at least. Okay, cool. Yeah, he's not he's not he's not a bad boss at all. Like, Teostra is really the only the only like really bad one for a lot of groups I've I've fought with, uh, and uh, Nargigante isn't one of like the big three, but he's also like. A new killer. All right, who has bombs? Yeah, this guy. Uh, this guy. Cool. This guy knows what's up. <laughs> Where were you keeping that? <laughs> In his pocket, clearly. <laughs> yeah. 
Does he have a bomb? Does he have a bomb? Yes, we have a small one. He has bomb. a little one. Why'd you oh, bring little bombs? Couple of, well, he's got multiple little ones. Then why would you bring little bombs instead of big bombs? Who's going to set it off by not hitting it with their... Like... Well, we have slingers now. Yeah, yeah. I just, like, I don't I don't carry slinger ammo aside from, like, the dung bombs and stuff. So, uh, I let other people handle it. Aw. You got shame punted. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, he stunned me. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. So, he got knocked down, but he got up again. I'm never gonna keep him down. Yeah. I like that song. That is it. The, the lyrics are nonsense, but it's got a good beat. Yeah, it's, like it's catchy. It's a nice like. Happy, oh, yeah, it's a nice like. Happy mount song. it, mount it. Oh wait, that guy didn't. Oh no. Nah, okay, that well. was the mouse. But I cut his spine open. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's gonna get in the air right now. Oh. well, he was, but not in the way I was expecting. So apparently, Namco has a uh, theme park in Tokyo. Really? And, uh, they have a new attraction now, a VR attraction, where they've got this big area, and you put on a, you put on a VR headset, and it lets you be Pac-Man. Like, you put it on, and you see the walls around you, and you wander through a maze, picking up dots while the ghosts chase you. So I can finally live out my fantasies of, of eating ghosts. Yeah, you can. Awesome. That's been my kink for as long as I can remember. Like three seconds. <laughs> yeah. But it's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, that's awesome. Yeah, you can see... You said this was China? No, no. Japan. Oh, okay. uh, Namco's uh, Tokyo theme park. Okay, you know what? Uh, that time I'm actually okay with being knocked around because it stopped me from wasting my final charge. Nice. So. Kudos, uh, person with weapon I hate. <laughs> now I can hit him with uh, this discharge. But yeah, you, you can see the walls oh, yes. and stuff in front of you. I love it when my discharge kills the monster. <laughs> 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 Although, there was enough delay that it might have been like the hit after my discharge, but fuck it, I'm taking credit. Why not? Because <laughs> nobody can say otherwise. <laughs> Who are you yeah, going to believe? You... Me or... Any of those Asian people, exactly. You, you, you see the walls and the ghosts in front of you, and on the side, you get a little mini map that shows a top down of where you are. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, it's really cool. And I haven't played Pac-Man in forever, so it seems kind of legit. I went to Dave and Buster's and played like f like five player Pac-Man or something, and it was actually a lot of fun. Huh? Yeah. So do they do they put more ghosts or are they just yeah I, I assume if, that like one of you is gonna get caught because there's five of you. I forget if there's more ghosts, but it's like a much bigger like arena than uh, you normally than you normally have. Oh okay. Cool. And I think there's like other power ups and shit. Like it's it's a lot of fun. That I sounds really cool. I believe you can get a home version of it on Steam. I have I I have some kind of pack. I haven't actually played it, but I have I got some Pac-Man game on Steam for free. Yeah. And it has some kind of mode like that. Where you just do, you just have like multiplayer pack. Huh. Maybe we'll play it sometime. And I got a thing. What did I get? Ah, it's garbage. Stay Ooh, stun resist. Oh, okay, stun resist. Actually, stun resist is pretty good. I, I might actually suck at that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like, uh, like geologist or something. So yeah, see, look, I always get amp master and support host. <laughs> oh, slinger shots that hit monsters. Dropped monster material. Oh, oh, okay. The the ones that they drive. Yeah, that's the that's the one I was thinking of. Like, there's a chi there's a chivo for the dude who just picks up the most shit during the fight. Yeah. So it's like, oh, good. You stopped fighting the monster, <laughs> and started picking up shit. I I told you, <laughs> loot tail mid fight. It's because if you don't loot it, then the monster's gonna fly off. You're gonna forget. And then when you beat it and you're carving the body, you're gonna be like, "Oh crap, the tail!" But you won't make it back. I think that happened to me against Nargigante. <laughs> <laughs> it happened to me against somebody like, "Oh shit, there's the tail!" But yeah. I can't let down my team and carve it now. I'll carve it later. Right. And like after like a grueling like fight, like we had it to run away and we chase it. And when I was carving the body much later, I was like, "Oh shit, where was that tail?" <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And I didn't get the tail drop. Such is life. <laughs> but it's okay because I'd already gotten a tail by that point, so. I didn't need it anymore. Alright, so. Awesome. Um, 
Well, those were the the el the, the the more like normal elder dragons. Right. I guess next time we'll take a shot at uh, the actual final boss for single player, and okay. then uh, we'll do other shit. So cool. See you guys then. <laughs>